recording. All right. <clears throat> I am in a quandary. I'm at a crossroads, an intersection of life. <laughs> now that I've built it up, it's going to be kind of anticlimactic, perhaps. And so, I have this line of bows that I need to complete in order to be like a, a good human being and fill my commitments. And two paddle bows now, and then I've got a, a fourth one and a fifth one I'm going to describe for you. But my quandary is, now I'm doing this one first. I also have the second one is extremely complex. It's the one that has the little jagged teeth here and the lines that have the white dots and diamonds and all this stuff and dye work. But it's been, I don't know, what, a couple months since I painted the paddle bow. So I'm going to do the simple one first. And I didn't do it like these and then these and then those and those, giving drying time between so I don't run the risk of getting my hand in wet paint. I did it all black on one side because I would like to black and then white, which may not be as popular with somebody wanting to buy a Raven paddle bow. Personally, I think it adds so much to have the um, yin and yang, the black and the white, you know, night and day. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'll think about it. I mean, certainly feel free to comment on whether or not you like a more standard, like, black, black, or a more, I think, mystical kind of, for lack of a better word, black and white. And so that is that. I don't have the other paddle bow down here, but I am going to paint a picture of words. I'm going to grab this bow right here. And one of the three bows that I'm committed to do is for a daughter and I'm just gonna say the mysterious Mark's daughter she's a teenager and wanted a bow and I could certainly do a long bow but I don't like saying this the long bows don't inspire me as much as send you back the, um, horse bows or the, the painted paddle bows you know plus there's so many other fine makers of long bows why do I need to intrude upon their space when I've got my own little niche here and so Mark's daughter, I think, is counting on a longbow, but she's going to get the ultimate expression that I consider, because I haven't made one in a while, of a horsebow. Oh, please don't pull in. Okay. It's not just a gull wing, but I go a few steps further. Recurve it so it's a cupid's bow. I use bent tab tips, and that's covered with rawhide, very thin rawhide. Keep going. Okay. And then they have midlimb wraps. Typically they're very heavy. This one's not going to be. So I've got sinew midlimb wraps. I'll have sinew wraps outside the handle. Underneath the leather is simply a spiral. And so right off the bat, cupid bow. Wonderful shape. Bent tab tips. Kind of like a hoopa bow. Covered with rawhide. Now I'm going to continue it further. I'm going to take on these midlimb wraps, which have sinew, and right here, they're going to have snake skin just over the wrap. Um, on the, the back. The belly will be visible right here, the sinew wraps. I'm going to do an X pattern with backstrap sinew. X is between this snake skin, sinew wrap, this wrap. Precise, so they cross right down the center of the back, back in the belly. And then the X pattern continuing down to the tip. Um, that's about it, really. But it's going to be a cool bow. I don't know what kind of leather handle I'm going to put on it. But envision Cupid's bow, bent tab, leather over the, or rawhide over the bent tab, um, snake skin over the midlimb sinew wrap, X pattern running down here. And I probably have 20 or 30 of these things. And instead of having to just describe them, I want to actually have one. And so that is that. If you're asking me how much it would cost to make one of those, in my mind, the apex of horse bows, X pattern, rattlesnake, bent tab, blah 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 it would be over a thousand dollars you know seriously because they take there's a lot of effort goes on in those style of bows do they have the horsehair on the end no they don't because that would be kind of weird to have that bent tab the horsehair would be at this extreme angle but that is that i am done the video is over thank you for watching and i'm going to find some sunshine to put this on or in or amongst